Friends and neighbors of the 29th Legislative District, this is Senator Steve Conway reporting here as we enter the 81st day of the session. I wanted to share with you a couple of bills that have recently passed that I think mean a great deal to the 29th Legislative District. One of these bills was the Foreclosure Fairness Act, or House Bill 1362. This bill passed off the floor of the Senate not two days ago. And why is this important for the 29th Legislative District? Three of the zip codes that have the highest level of foreclosures are in the 29th Legislative District. We need to help those who, whose homes are being foreclosed with counsel and mediation so that we ensure that we help them in the, their difficult times. I might also add that this bill provides a, a funding from the banks themselves to assist in this counseling and mediation. To me, solving this foreclosure problem is also adding some stimulus to our economy. As we all know, housing industry and the problems in the housing industry have been a major reason why we have not been able to get out of this recession. I'm also pleased to announce for those of you who are unemployed or for those of you who have friends who are unemployed that we're working hard on getting jobs into our economy. We passed, this House has passed a transportation budget uh, last week and the Senate will be considering it. This means about four, over $400 million worth of projects in Pierce County alone, which will mean jobs for many of our const construction workers. Uh, many of you know the, the big construction project in our district and in the county is the Nelly Valley Viaduct project, as well as expanding the carpool lanes uh, throughout on I-5. Another bill which passed the floor of the Senate here recently was a bill to provide loans for aerospace workers. Uh, we had a visit this week from the CEO of the Commercial Airline Division uh, in the Senate Ca Democratic Caucus Room. Jim Mamba had this message for our caucus. We will have a severe shortage of skilled workers in the airline industry in the coming decade. It is critical, therefore, that we plan to help people learn the skills, the machinist skills, as well as engineering skills that will be cru crucial for this industry. Uh, we passed a bill off the floor of the Senate, a House bill just two days ago that will provide loans to those train entering training to become aerospace workers. Another important bill that passed recently, a House bill, was a bill creating the Puget Sound Job Corps. This program will leverage federal funds to not only clean up Puget Sound, but it will also provide training and jobs to our proud returning veterans who are transitioning back to civilian jobs. We thus are at that phase in this legislative session when we are considering House bills. Next week, we begin the critical job of passing the budgets for this session of the legislature. The House will be passing their budget next week, and the Senate plans to take up that budget the week after. This is a very critical time for those of you who've been contacting this office about your concerns about the budget to stay in touch with us. We'll provide you with information on how to contact our office. We, look, we sincerely look forward to hearing from you about your, your ideas on the budget and your concerns about the proposed House budget. Have a great week. Thank you.